Welcome all. <laughs> Please don't lose faith. Uh, I know it's a bit OTT on the old Mirror's Edge overdosing, but this is the last analysis now looking at the PC versions across both my AMD and NVIDIA i5 Intel machines. Unfortunately, to get that off the bat, I couldn't test the 750 Ti, all thanks to the powers and joys of NVIDIA's 36472 driver, which, to be fair, works perfectly fine on the newest 970 machine without any hiccups at all. And this may be something to do with the link that this machine's got both an AMD card in it and an NVIDIA card in the two PCI slots, or at least PCI Express slots, but... In the end, it wouldn't work. I, ra I ran 3642, it completely trashed my system. Uh, it wiped the restore point, so I couldn't even restore. I then had to use safe mode, you can see on screen now, to restore the whole machine and get it back to the last version, 36451, which worked fine. The only other issue being, as you can see, it wouldn't let me uninstall the drive, it just hung there forever. So I had to boot to CLI and then remove it that way, remove all traces of NVIDIA machines, reboot the machine, get it back on the AMD driver, and then update and put back the 36451 driver. So I've left the machine at 36451. The problem is that you can't actually use the uh, 36451 to play Mirror's Edge because it tells you the driver's out of date. Uh, and I haven't really looked around to find if there's a way to get around it, but there probably is. But I'm not going to waste any more time. It cost me about two hours of the day anyway to do all the hassle of restoring the machine. Now this isn't an AMD issue, just to be sure. I did install the latest drivers for AMD, which you can see in the video for the 7870. And there was no issues with that at all. So it's certainly an NVIDIA issue. I have heard rumblings about the 36472 driver causing issues for anyone else all i can say is if you've got an older card and the 750 ti is still a maxwell card so it's not really that old but it certainly has caused me issues this time so i shall be avoiding that like the plague until the new version comes out when nvidia released an updated driver and give that one a try so unfortunately in this video i cannot give you a breakdown of the 750 ti but you can hazard a guess that it would be around probably slightly below what the 7870 is doing here and overall the PC version it needs probably a little bit more work and there's certainly work on the memory structure in terms of how it works on PC compared to the consoles. You can see the same kind of dips and stutters and hangs that you get on all the PC versions that I played but they tend to be far more pronounced. The worst point on console on the Xbox One was 100 milliseconds. That's more than doubled regularly on the PC versions even than far far better running i5 GTX 970. But in terms of improvement, well, it looks like the consoles run a combination of medium to high on the settings, not unsurprising. And the motion blur, even though you can't get an exact match, seems to be ramped up slightly higher on the consoles so that it kind of smooths out the image quality. But here is one of the games where you can definitely see the benefits of going from the 900 and certainly even more, the 720p, into a beautiful 1080 display here on my i5 GTX 970 machine but it does end up looking a hell of a lot cleaner and crisper at 1080 here, much more than the pixel numbers suggest, and I know YouTube isn't the best compression rate, stay tuned with me on that. The image quality on the PC is much better than consoles, there's no brainer there. It's 900p versus 1080p, but actually the gap due to the way the image is constructed on consoles and that additional motion blur, and obviously the other effects in the game, I must say it's one of the biggest differences I've seen of a game so far from the GTX 970 to the console versions. It's certainly a much bigger gap than what we saw in Battlefront, which again is the same as what we said about the Xbox One and the PS4 versions. The gap between the two looks bigger there, even though the pixel count suggests it's not. So it's really about the image quality here rather than the pixel count overall, but it is a much better and refined display. On top of that, not unsurprisingly, the GTX 970 can also bump up some of the settings over and above. If you run a combination of high and ultra though, it's quite inconsistent, not really a lock 60 as you can see in the videos here. But if you lock that at a stable high settings, you get pretty much a lock 60 with no issues at all in this early beta and it's a very smooth presentation with no issues overall I was quite impressed with how it runs on that machine the AMD is not quite as solid I'm afraid but that's not a surprise and in terms of the lighting in this game it even gives the GTX 970 a run for its money because there's a hell of a lot of dynamic global illumination solutions running there that doesn't mean it's all runtime I'm not going to go into detail in this video about that this is more about the performance of all versions but I will be covering the engine in detail but the lighting in the game is very impressive and looks very nice at points and obviously it's got a day and night cycle in the game across consoles and PC so that is something that's worth bearing in mind as well again screen space solution 
pollution is used throughout the game. You've got some nice crepuscular rays from the sun. You've got some bloom effects, obviously the motion blur. And overall, the AMD machine does a fairly decent job of running the game, pretty much. 1080 is an option on the machine, but a lock 60 is not, even if you run it at low, which you can see the video on screen. And dropping it to 900p doesn't really fix that either. You get far more hangs and stutters on this machine than you do on the GTX 970. That has got twice the amount of RAM, give or take on the graphics card compared to the AMD machine and obviously the system RAM it's pretty hungry eating up around 7 to 8 gig of RAM on both machines and I've got 16 gig on both so it's not really short of RAM but it can eat that up but again it is an early beta in terms of texture quality it looks like running around medium possibly high but I think it's been paired back on consoles lower than it probably would be in the final release we'll have to wait and see how that looks but like I say both machines they seem to run around medium to high on consoles at 900p and 720p if you run that on the AMD machine uh, at 900p you're still not getting anywhere near the performance of the PS4 but I think there's more work to do on the PC side of it but in terms of the GTX 970 i5 machine it is actually a very solid running game so overall the engine is not that bad but in terms of the lighting system the geometry and the streaming asset quality it does ask for slightly more power in the system than what the AMD machine seems to deliver I'm sure it will be refined and improved and probably get much closer but we'll see how that turns out on the final release in terms of overall performance obviously the GTX 970 is clearly the way to go the difference between that and the AMD machine in this particular instance is actually quite vast I would have liked to have shown you the 750 Ti machine, but as I say at the beginning, that unfortunately has been scuppered. But I would hazard a guess it would be slightly better than what we're seeing from the 7870 machine, surprisingly enough. So there's certainly some work to do there, I think, on the PC version and more so the AMD driver side, because at the moment it feels as if this game is going to perform better on NVIDIA hardware than AMD hardware, which is a surprise considering it's DICE again. But we shall wait and see what the final game puts out. Anyway, as always, I hope you guys and girls enjoyed this. If you did, then please hit the like and subscribe button as it really helps me immensely. I promise that's me done now in terms of Mirror's Edge analysis. Aside looking at the engine at a later date. You guys and girls take care, and I'll see you very soon on the next one. Way to the tower now. I'm going to do a quick delivery, so I'll catch up with you later, Noah. Sounds good, Icarus. We still have a game to finish. So you'll know the marks fade. Just follow them all. And then we should see about getting you reintroduced to the world. I got a run for you that should do the trick.